let's say you want to create a flyer and you want it to look professional, but you don't want to start from scratch and put a lot of work into it. I'm going to suggest that one way to do that is to use Microsoft Office Word and use a template. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You can also do that with other applications such as PowerPoint or Publisher or something else. But let's use um, Word in this example. So I've opened up Microsoft Office Word and I come over here to the Office button and I click on it and I say I want to create a new document and I want to click on Microsoft Office Online if it isn't already open. And then you can see that there's a lot of different templates that exist here. You could do agendas, uh, brochures, budgets, calendars, all sorts of things. But what we want to do is a flyer. But basically, the same steps would apply no matter what. So if you want to make a calendar, you would just click on this one and, and look at the templates that are available there. Anyway, let's click on flyers. And you can see that they've broken it down further into different types of flyers. And in this case, I'm going to create an event flyer for, for something at our school called um, Blue Bells for School Bells. It's a fundraiser to raise money by selling Blue Bells. Uh, and the school is going to send the money to Africa to help with the schools over there. So what you would do is you would scroll down and you can see all these templates that have been created before by other people. Um, I usually try and take a look at all of them before deciding. And sometimes when you click and open it up, it's not what you expect. So I, uh, I usually um, look at a number of different templates before I decide. And it doesn't bother me if... For example, this is a Memorial Day event template. If I like the look of it, I can just replace the American flag with flowers, let's say, for this. Um, so I even look at other flyers that may not seem to pertain. Anyway, I have already decided that, where is it? that I want to use a spring event flyer. And you can see that somebody has already put in text blocks and they've put in images and things like that. And for the most part, I like what they've done. Um, I do want to change, let's say, this image. I'm going to go ahead and insert clip art. And over here, I'm going to type in bluebells. And um, you can see that there are a number of different bluebell images. I'm going to pick this one. And I kind of uh, really like the way um, it hangs over the edge, but it's a little bit too big here. So I'm going to make it smaller. So you can decide what you like. So this is going to be sponsored by the fourth grade. And up here, you can write blue bells for school bells. And of course, uh, you ha can change the font or whatever. Usually, if I like the way the flyer looks, I keep um, the formatting the way that they have it just because they've spent a lot of time making it look good. But you can really, um, like I said, you can... change the uh, font, the way it looks, um, or you can change the size if the text is too big, um, that kind of thing. Anyhow, so then you would say, let's see, this is going to be April, what's the date? It's going to be April 11th. And 
and then you would put where it's going to be at. And then down here, you can change the text to talk a little bit about the project itself. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. You can add text block boxes. Um, you can change the color of this to match, let's say, the bluebells. So you might come up here and pick something, maybe something like that. And um, sometimes if I start with one idea, I could end up replacing every aspect of it in the end. But at least it gives me a starting place to know where um, borders might go and clip art might look nice. Um, so that's how you would um, take a template and customize it for yourself.